The last thing we're going to look at today is two vocabulary words, isomers and resonance structures. So when you hear that term isomer, an isomer means um, that you're looking at two different compounds with the same chemical formula but different arrangements of the atoms. So let's say I gave you the structure C2H6O. I said, draw this for me. Uh, so we wanna be as symmetrical as we can we want to put the carbons maybe in the middle. There's a couple different ways you could do it. So one way is to put the two carbons together, a carbon next to a carbon. You could then take the O and tack that guy on next, and then the hydrogen. The other hydrogens could go around your carbon. So it could look something like this. In this structure, there's two carbons one, two, three, four, five, six hydrogens, one oxygen. They all have the proper number of electrons. This structure works. Or you could take that C2H6O and put the O in the middle. And the O separates your two carbons with three hydrogens on the left and three hydrogens on the right. This also works. Both structures are correct. So to prevent confusion, chemical formulas are often written in the order the atoms appear in the structure. So instead of writing C2H6O, the structure on the left would probably be written as CH3CH2OH. CH3CH2OH. Because it gives us a little clue. Take a carbon and put three hydrogens around it, then a carbon with two hydrogens around it, and then an OH. This molecule here, if we had to write its chemical structure, it's probably going to be written as CH3OCH3. Both molecules are correct. Both molecules exist. They they're both logical answers for how to draw C2H6O. Uh, so when you see the elements broken up like this, like why don't they just merge the C's together? It's to help a scientist know if you're talking about the structure on the left or the structure on the right. One last vocab word, resonance. Resonance is when you have chemicals, that have multiple correct answers due to the arrangement of their electrons. So this was a case where you have multiple right answers, and this resonance idea is where there's going to be multiple correct answers. So how is resonance different than isomerism, the ability to have different isomers? Well, when you have isomerism, isomers, the atoms move. So in that example up here, uh, the oxygen was in between a C and an H here, and then we took that O and moved the O in between the two carbons to make this structure. That's an isomer, when the atoms rearrange and move around. Resonance is when the electrons move around. So there's a chemical called propene, C3H6. And when you look at C3H6, you could have the double bond here between the first carbon and the second carbon, 
or you could have it between the second carbon and the third carbon. The double bond moved in these two structures. And so, once again, both of these guys are correct. The electrons just moved in this structure, but they both have three carbons and six hydrogens. So, just keep the ideas of resonance and isomerism in mind when you check your practice problems against the answer keys if they don't look exactly 100% the same. Uh, you might have drawn an isomer, perhaps. You might have drawn a resonance structure or maybe a mirror image of your teacher's drawing, or maybe you made a mistake. And it's kind of hard to tell in the beginning if your drawings, uh, if you've made mistakes or not. Uh, so don't be afraid to ask me for help to spot check your drawings for you if you're unsure.